Welcome back YouTube, this is Jeva here with another video. This time I'm going to be reviewing Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 4. The Last of the Starks. I need to remind you guys that the offer for the Radisson Blue Resort and Spa offer... I just said it twice. <laughs> is still up and it is in the description down below. So go and click it, click, click away, go on Facebook. Also, you can you, you can send me a message, private message, so that you can get uh, more uh, on this offer. Shall we get to it? All right, Game of Thrones, episode four of season eight. It starts off with the burning ceremony. Of those who died in the in the last episode, in the battle, in the battle of Winter for Winterfell, the Long Night, where many people died. Mo uh, some of them uh, who we know, like Jorah Mormont, he he died in that episode. So spoilers, <laughs> spoilers for those who haven't watched it yet. It's emotional and impactful. Many people have lost their lives defending Winterfell, which is admirable. Then John gives a speech. We're here to say goodbye to our brothers and sisters, to our fathers and mothers, to our friends, our fellow men and women who set aside their differences to fight together and die together so that others might live. Speech of a lifetime. So, the feast. It's all cheery, you know. Everybody win. Everybody won. Uh, everybody has won. Daenerys. In this episode, she's a bit isolated. Yes, she fought in that in the in the last battle. She fought, but I I think nobody is really uh, acknowledging the fact that she fought for for them in the battle of Winterfell. Then she makes Gendry the the Lord of Storm's End. So who's Lord of Storm's End now? I think you should be Lord of Storm's End. You are Lord Gendry Baratheon of Storm's End, the lawful son of Robert Baratheon, because that is what I have made you. Well, no, nobody knew what uh, who, who the Lord was of Storm's End. I think it wasn't even I think it wasn't even shown in, in, in late in previous seasons, so this would be something new to see. I don't know. Maybe we don't even see it at all. But who knows? Who knows? I really loved how uh, I really loved how Tyrion, Tyrion and uh, Brienne and Jamie were sitting around and Podrick were sitting around the table and they were drinking. They're doing a drinking game, of course. They deserve it after their efforts in the, in the battle. Gendry, after being made Lord of Storm's End, goes and tries to find Arya to give her, to break her, to break news to her and tell her that he is now Lord of Storm's End. He asks her for her hand in marriage. We already know that she do doesn't accept. She d that she won't accept, and she didn't accept. She didn't accept. Because we all know that she isn't a lady. She's an assassin, so deal with it, Gendry. Sorry, Gendry. I guess if you knew her well, then you would know that she, she isn't that kind of person. Well, Jamie and Brienne. Yes, that moment. Jamie and Brienne. When Jamie enters the room, uh, he's a bit drunk. You, know, you can see that he's a bit drunk there. He starts uh, give, starts sending signals there, and see, saying that he's feeling hot. He's feeling hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Basically, they make out. Daenerys enters John's bedroom. John's John's and Daenerys' bedroom. She asks him if he's drunk. He says he isn't, but he is drunk. It's a bit cheesy there. So the line's a bit cheesy there. Uh, but okay. Jon Snow. He still he still kisses her. He, the, it, at first, the, the it all get, it gets all heat, it all gets all, all hot in there at first, like they were about to make out. But no, no, he doesn't want to do anything with her because she is his aunt. We all know that it was it's 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 uncomfortable. The, even the thought of it, it's uncomfortable. We've seen brother and sister do that, but not a um, nephew and an aunt. Not not quite not quite common there, mm. especially in the north. So after that, we see we see Daenerys, John, Sansa, Varys. They're all and Tyrion all planning uh, on their move to attack Cersei, 
to see how they go about the battle, especially when they lost half of their troops already. So Sansa and Arya, they and get they get Bran as well. They go and talk to John in the Godswood. He tells them. No, he, he doesn't tell them at all. He just asks Bran. Tell them. And he just stares. What am I supposed to do? Basically, he does. He does. He does tell John that it's his choice after all. So. Yeah, he tells Sansa and Arya that he is Aegon Targaryen. Yeah, and, and whatnot. So they just cut that scene short. Uh, they and they apparently Brandon tell tells them all in black in, off screen because we have already seen that happen so many times. But I mean, I would love I, I would have loved to see that still. But uh, but anyway, Sir Bronn of the Blackwater, he he just storms in with the crossbow when John when when Tyrion and Jaime Lannister. Are uh, talking together and having a chat or drinks. He just enters with a crossbow. How poetic! Yeah, at f it is a bit shocking at first. Yeah, to, to be honest with you, uh, a bit surprising. Bronn is Bronn, and yes, he wants his gold. He wants his castle. So Tyrion promises him High Garden. He doubled the price. So he just he, he's going to come for them uh, after the battle is won. If it's won, he gets High Garden. If not, he kills them. He does whatever he pleases. Then Sansa decides to tell Tyrion as well that Jon is Aegon Targaryen. Then we see the farewells from uh, Jon Snow and uh, Jon Snow saying farewell to Tormund, who, who he says that he will go back to, to the uh, to the real North. The most disappointing thing here in this episode, in all of this episode, Ghost. I mean, why would you just stare at Ghost? Just stare at Ghost. Not just stare at him. Now you don't even give him a goodbye. You don't even. You don't even. Hug him or something. You don't even bend down and hug him. Oh come on! But, I mean, you have a lot of money, HBO. You have a lot of money. Why wouldn't you just do that? I mean, we've waited two years. I mean, and you couldn't do that? I don't want John to ghost ghost. Tyrion, of course, naturally, tells Varys. Oh, I mean, why? Uh, apparently, we see that Varys is now divided. He doesn't want. He doesn't want uh, Daenerys to be on the throne because now he found out that Jon is the true heir to the Iron Throne and now he wants Jon to be on the throne. Most sad part of this episode, and quite stupid as well. Rhaegal shot down by a scorpion, a more advanced scorpion. <sighs> I mean, couldn't she see them from, uh, from up there, way up there? No? No? Convenient, very convenient. If, it's, if this is Game of Thrones, she would have seen them there. She would have gone around, gone around behind the ships, behind the ships, and burned them to the ground. That would have been glorious. Hmm? Instead of burning, uh, instead of killing down Rhaegal, glorious, not glorious at all. I hate you. I hate you. You're on Greyjoy. I, 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 I respect the actor. I respect the actor, but I hate you're on Rhaegal. Why would she forget about a freaking Iron Fleet? Why would she forget about the Scorpions after the last uh, bef uh, after the, that last time when she confronted one uh, with Bronn shooting shooting down trying to shoot down Drogon uh, in episode four of season seven? Don't you remember? I mean, come on! It wasn't that long ago. Now was it? <sighs> okay, I need to come back. Yeah, so they shoot down the ships. Yeah, and take Miss Sunday prisoner. Thursday wants Daenerys to burn down the keep, the Red Keep, to burn down the people, so that the people could see her as the Mad Queen. Varys is now plotting, because he doesn't want her to be the Mad Queen. Of course, nobody wants her to be the Mad Queen. I don't want her to be the Mad Queen. You don't want her to be the Mad Queen. Nobody wants her to be the Mad Queen. I, and I think that she doesn't want to be the Mad Queen. Jamie heads back to freaking King's Landing, to, to Cersei. Excuse me? Jamie? Excuse me? Why would you do that? After all that, why would you go to King's Frickin' Landing? <sighs> the final act, the final scene of this episode. Miss Sunday on the gates of King's Landing, where the walls are riddled with uh, scorpions, kyber scorpions. In episode 5, there has to be a pretty freaking miracle. Yeah, so Tyrion tries to bargain with Cersei. She tries to uh, tries to change the subject quickly by killing Sunday. Way to set off the bomb, the time bomb. That is Daenerys Stormborn. I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Remember to hit the like, 
Comment down below on your thoughts. Subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos such as this. Also, before I wrap up this video, I would like to give a shout out to Gaming with Isaac. Gaming with Isaac. Um, he does Fortnite plays. He, kill, uh, he does gameplays, Fortnite gameplays. Go and watch. Go and check out his channel. It's in, this, in the description down below and in the uh, pop-up box there. Also, I would I would like to remind you that the offer for the Redison Blue Resort and Spa is still down. It's, it's, in, it's in the description down below as well. So go and check it out. Uh, go and check out the Calisthenics Lovers uh, page on Instagram. Go and follow follow them. See what their what their training routines are. Maybe you can join them. That was it. So, adios. Woo!